disappointing result, but uh, the performance not so bad. Yeah, I, I agree with you there, Paul. Uh, I thought we played quite well, given the uh, given the situation that we're in with the squad and the players. I thought we we put in a, a decent performance there, especially in the second half. We we deserve to get something out of that game and. Uh, Pleased for the lads that were the new lads that have come in and uh, got involved today. Um, Say for the three mistakes in the first half, you know we we were we were on top in the game, and that's football, unfortunately. Steve Jones' free kick goes in there. Uh, maybe then you can get somewhere out of the game, can't you? Yeah, yeah. You need you know you need those little things at that time. You know we go we go three two. It's probably about half an hour, 25 minutes to go. We're we're well on top in the game, and you, you know you need. Need a little bit of luck like that to go, you know, goes in off, off the bar or the one that Josh has charged down. If Ryan gets on the end of that, you know, it's a, it's a different story, and maybe we come out with a point or maybe even three. So, but that's you know that's football. We can be pleased with our efforts today, as I've already said, given the conditions that we're uh, that we're working in. What can you learn from uh, the things that didn't quite go right for you today? Well, we've had um, out of the back five, we've had three players in there that have not been playing um, Darren Chris and uh, Steve Longridge really haven't been playing uh, football and haven't been playing together as a unit so I think there's some things for them to learn there um, given that they were sort of defensive mistakes for the for the all three goals so I think you know if they get another opportunity in the next game against Norton hopefully they can play a little bit tighter and uh, be a bit more on it next time um, but I don't think there's anything more to learn about this team it was nice to see like I said at the start nice to see likes of Alex and, and Lan Ray get a game and, and do quite well for us yeah, yeah, sure as you got pretty decent depth of squad uh, we've got a depth of squad yeah um, but you know you can't rep you know the players that have come in today you know, are not going to replace the players that are, are absent today, and you know that's that's the difference, and that's something that me and Paul will be looking at for for next season. You know, the likes of Liam Lachlan and, and Ronnie Morgan and River Humphreys. You, you know, you can't easily replace these players at this level, and given the conditions that we're working in, so that's something for us to consider and the, and the club to consider also. Tough game uh, coming up next week against Norton. They're going for the league. Yeah, they're doing quite well. They're, they're one of our bogey teams not and we never seem to do quite well against them so hopefully we can get some uh, some of our better players back and uh, put in a, a decent performance and try and get something from a game against them because uh, the last few times we've we've not really been at it so fingers crossed for that one mate. I guess if you had a the second half performance in the first half you might have got something out of that game. Yeah Paul but to, to be honest I thought we've dominated the game as a whole uh, even before they've scored. Um, but again, we've cut our own throat on the three goals. Uh, we've lost balls in, in, in areas where we shouldn't have. It's a little bit more being composed in the situation, being composed on the ball and making the right choice of pass. And we haven't done that and we're being punished uh, because they haven't opened us up. They haven't, they haven't sorted hurt us in, in open play, if you like. We've hurt ourselves. Um, you know, when I've, we've gone 3 0 down, and I, I said to Jay, to be fair, I said, I, don't, I can't believe we're 3 0 down. But it's happened and it's how we've reacted. Uh, from especially second half, and I thought second half we've absolutely dominated. Uh, we've scored a, a decent goal again. We've hit the crossbar, and you know that one from Stephen Jones that hit the crossbar goes in. Then it gets interesting. But I thought you know I've asked for a response and I've got a response from the second, the first half performance. Fine margins uh, alter the course of the game, don't they? Um, Steve Jones, like you say, hit the crossbar bubble just before Steve Longwood comes out for that second goal and goes in. Yeah, that's 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 a, especially with the the way this game's gone. Uh, they, they've had the little run of the ball or such, but you know, over the, over the season, uh, uh, you know, you can turn around and say things like that have happened to us or for us, should I say? So again, you know, I've asked. The pleasing point for me is that I've asked for a reaction at half time, and I've got one. I've got one because it's easy to th throw the towel in. I've had the bare eleven. Uh, so you know, the lads have gone out there. You know, they've worked hard, especially lads that haven't played for a long, long while. You know, and I've had a new lad come in, young uh, Alex Midgley Newton, uh, and I thought the kid's done done really well. To be fair, you know, Landry's come in, uh, he's worked hard. Uh, Dan and Torby's had another game. Uh, Steve Longridge come come back in uh, for his first game for I don't know how long. So you know, you, 
There's positive and there's negative from the game. Uh, obviously, the negative is uh, we've lost 3 1 uh, and we've lost three points. But the positive is that I've, I've, I've had a little look at one or two players uh, and we'll have a look at them again. Just a bit static for the uh, three goals you conceded, really, weren't you? Yeah, I, I, again, you know, that's, you know, even though they've had one long ball, there's people covering and getting in right areas and things like that, you know, uh, being on the back foot if you like. Uh, but we haven't had the cover at times. But that happens at our level. Uh, unless we drum it into them week in, week out, which we try and do. But again, I keep going down to the training and things like that, you know. It's whenever we can get training and try and work on things. And I've been saying that for a while. But, you know, when I look at it, I've analysed the season so far. I don't think we've done that bad. Steve Corris had to go off with injury. How bad's that? Me playing here, I think it was a foul. Um, it looks a bad one at the moment. Uh, young Liam King, who brought in to do uh, the physio side of it, has uh, done a bit of work on him while he's been off the pitch. So hopefully that's, that's helped him over the next uh, over the weekend. And then we'll look at the situation in regards to Tuesday, see how he is. But, you know, again, Stevens just come in. He, he's been missing for a long, long while. And, and he looked as if at times he hadn't been missing. Uh, so it's, it's pleasing to get, you know, you may lose players, but you get players come back in. You know, so again... It's questions of getting asked of the squad, and you know, apart from the results, I, I was pretty pretty pleased with some of the performances. Still keeping positive then for next week and the rest of the season. I'll always be positive, Paul. You know, I mean that that's the way it is, uh, and it's it's not blaming any individuals or things like that. We we know where we are with this football club. We know where we want to be. Uh, in an ideal world, everyone wants to win leagues and wants to have their own grounds and things like that. Yeah, yeah. We're in the Northwest uh, County Premier. You know, and if we have to consolidate and stay in this league for a few years, so be it. Uh, because the time we're, we're ready to win it, you know, hopefully we got our own ground. But that's all. That's all in the future. You know, it's about now. Uh, we're looking to consolidate, which we're doing, and we're doing it in a comfortable manner. To be fair, um, you know, as the future, we'll, we'll always try and win things. You know, Paul, I, I'm not one of them where I think, oh well, I've been asked to consolidate, or will they ask me to consolidate? I want to win every game. I su even even supporters and members, we all want to win games of football. But you have days like this, and it's 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 not a down to me because I thought we generally played okay. Uh, it's just the the result. But you know, as a club, as a football team, and ev everything else that goes with it, we just move on, mate. You know, you'll ask me, and you might be this time next year where you're saying around and go to me, 22 points clear or 23 points clear of the league, ball with five six games to go. How do you feel? I'll go, well, I said that of Sills last year, mate. <laughs> so, you know, I'm positive and we'll see where we go with it, mate. You know, I'm not going to throw the towel in. The lads are not going to throw the towel in. They know what to be expected and we expect of them. So we'll just see where we go and, you know, it's been an OK season, but it's been a progressive season as well. well better luck for next week. Thank you very much, Paul, and it's nice and sunny for you today, isn't it? And you've still got a Ballyclaver on. <laughs> Cheers, mate.